Do you wanna pull up and make people's jaws drop for under 20K? We're gonna show you some cars that'll make people think you're rich and famous, and you won't have to break the bank to drive one. On this list, we have a Bentley that could be yours for less than $15,000, and we got a Maserati for under 16K. We've even got a Rolls Royce for under 20K. You think I'm lying? You wish. Here are eight cars for under 20 grand that are gonna make you look rich and famous. You ready? Cause I am, let's go. Are you looking for a swaggy classic style cruiser that bears a Bentley badge and makes all your friends think that you're just rolling in dough? Well, if your friends really don't know jack about cars, that is. Little will they know that this is hands down the cheapest Bentley ever with steel wheels and fabric lined interior. Yes, Bentley snobs might scoff, but no average person will care, especially when they see that flying B on the hood or bonnet. That's what Bentley people call it, right? Bonnet, not, not hood. Yeah, bonnet. Anyways, let's just start off and acknowledge that the exterior is as classy as they come. This car screams old money. Like you inherited it from your grandfather who was the Duke of Wales. Does Wales even have a Duke? I don't know, but guess what? It doesn't matter. The point is that your average Joe just walking down the sidewalk is going to assume that this Bentley is transporting someone super important. And that important person could be you because jokes on them, you paid less than 15 grand for this certified swag mobile. But what's the catch? Well, you're probably gonna have to shell out another 15 grand or more on repairs of this old bucket. Their transmissions are notorious B.I.G. or just notorious for developing super jerky shifts as they rack up the mileage. And their handbrakes have a reputation of, well, braking, but not in a good way. And at the end of the day, the only way you're gonna get a Bentley 8 that lasts is if the last seller pours a ton of money into it. And even if this car is just a pool of quicksand gobbling up your last bottom dollar, it's still gonna make people think that you're stashing a mill in the bank. But if you're into something that looks a little bit more sporty and will still definitely make people think you're rich. And when you pop the hood, anyone that knows anything about cars will see the red valve covers, which screams Ferrari. Then this next car is definitely the one that you should get. Especially if you want people to just assume that you're hiding millions of dollars in an offshore Swiss bank account. Because the Maserati Quattroporte just looks like a full bred Italian stallion and will make people think that you're sitting on some serious cash, which I'm just sitting on a chair that I got at a garage sale for like two bucks. It's hard to argue when you see that chrome trident shining on the front grill. And although the car looks like a bazillion bucks, no one needs to know that you just paid 16 grand for it. And this thing is a cash magnet. And it's a cash magnet for not one, but two reasons. First, people will probably start handing you checks and say, hey, make investments for me because I wanna be driving one of those. But the problem is you'll probably have to end up using those checks for repairs on your Maserati, not investments. And that's a bad investment because the Quattroporte requires more care than a nursery full of newborn babies. Hence, the second reason it's a cash magnet. Transmission and electrical problems galore. These are a guarantee if you decide to buy a Mazi. So ownership costs will probably be three times as much as you pay to get into one. So my humble advice is just to stay away altogether. But if you get the chance, definitely take one on a test drive to hear that sweet exhaust note. <laughs> And if you wanna look cool on that test drive, snag one of our sweet and best-selling Save the Manual tees up here. Although the Quattroporte never came in a manual, at least you can save them and look good doing it. And if you want a car that'll make people think that you're rich. Yes. <laughs> and something that's at least slightly more reliable than the Maserati Quattroporte, then it's time for you to step up to a Mercedes. Because buying one is an easy way to show off to all your neighbors that live on the same street, belong in the same tax bracket, and pretty much have the same salary. And while your friend's dad, Doug, next door bought that Volvo to keep the kids safe, you could be cruising around looking fly in your Mercedes S-Class. And since Doug isn't much of a car guy, he'll think that you just bought that car because you just won the lottery. When in reality, this Stuttgart Stunner could cost you less than 14,000 bucks. And that's some serious good looks for low, or is it? Well, yes and no. The S-Class has always been Mercedes-Benz top of the line luxury liners, and they call them continent shrinkers. Big boats with big engines designed to crush miles of open road in short time, all while giving the driver and passengers the pinnacle of refinement and comfort. And the W221 delivers that. And buying a used one with over six figures on the clock isn't the most ideal choice. Electrical issues, faulty brakes,
hours. And constant headlight and taillight troubles are just few of the common problems that are gonna keep you up at night. It's sad it's pretty much a beautiful breakdown waiting to happen. But that said, the engines are stout. So for a few grand, you could grab yourself an S-Class, cruise for miles and miles sitting behind a twin turbo V8, and just drive around all those blinking lights on the dash. That's what I would do. And while the S-Class keeps things pretty civil, this next car is like that crazy girl that you dated that your mom just couldn't stand. Beauty on the outside, but a whole lot of problems when you get to know her. This whip is just a straight up pimp mobile. The spirit of ecstasy symbol perched above the double R, that is stylish. And the silver spur is the long bodied silver spirit. So you get plenty of room for all your admirers in back. And see the thing about Rolls Royce is any normal civilian is gonna think your silver spur costs north of 100K. But let's keep the secret between us because you and I know this pimped out paddy wagon costs a little under $20,000. And that's what I call balling on a budget. But hold on, after you pull this British beauty off the lot, you're almost definitely gonna find a heap of problems with it. That big old V8 under the hood welcomes corrosion and dirty oil damage. And that pristine woodwork in the interior is probably gonna start peeling. And repairs to the hydraulics can cost you about as much as you paid for the whole damn car. So before you get giddy about this dope rolls, make sure you give that car a thorough inspection by a professional, not you or me. Well, you more than me. Because if you don't, that deal might end up more bitter than sweet. And the next rig on our list has more of a spicy flavor. You could say kind of like a cayenne pepper, a little bit spicy. This vehicle is the kind of rig that you'd expect the wife of an NFL star to be rolling around town in. But even if you're not married to Peyton Manning, the Porsche Cayenne gives people the idea that you're some sort of person that's come into a lot of money, whether or not that's actually true. In reality, you could be married to an arena football player who makes just a wee bit more than a public school teacher and still afford one of these swanky looking machines. However, the average person's gonna see that black and red Porsche emblem and assume that you paid way more than 16K for it. And the nice thing, which goes against the grain of the video so far, is the cayenne isn't gonna burn you like a cayenne pepper. <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice ride. It handles like a luxury sedan and it's got ample storage space, but it's not too bulky. And overall, the interior and exterior finish is up to snuff and what you'd expect from Porsche. Plus, we all know you'll be the life of the party if your Porsche SUV has a boat out back. So I would take a hard look at the Porsche Cayenne SUV because not only will people think that you know your way around the red carpet if you drive one, but I actually wouldn't mind getting one myself, especially if it was a diesel. But that's a story for another day because next up is a car that looks exotic and boggles people's minds. But you won't have to put down a second mortgage to get your hands on one of these. If you're looking for a car that looks like it's built to hit top speeds on the highway and will also impress all your friends who aren't schooled in the way of the car, the Lotus Esprit Turbo is certainly dressed to impress. It's got that old school exotic car look that you can throw a spoiler on the back and it doesn't look tacky. And when you pull up, park it, and drop those pop-up headlights, people are just gonna assume you got money in the bank, baby. At least six figures. So how much are these new age arrows going for? That's right, you could ride off into the sunset in your Lotus Esprit Turbo for a little under 20 20K. And guess what? This Brie isn't just all looks. It's got solid acceleration, especially in the mid-range. And it handles like an Olympic ice skater. And it's got a vacuum-assisted resin injection fiberglass shell that makes the body and chassis of this sharp edge street cruiser super strong and durable. But buyers be wary of two things, the coolant pipes and the power steering pipe work, because both of those have been known to be problematic in this model. But for the most part, this Brie Turbo is a steal at this price. And people are going to assume that you paid a whole lot more for it. And our next car also hails from Britain and will make you look like you got big bucks to the untrained eye. The Jaguar XJL has the same sleek and smooth design language that makes Jaguars look high class and high performance. And that shiny front grille with the Jaguar emblem stamped on it is sure to turn a couple of heads as you cruise through the city. And this being the limousine model, the sheer size of the car will make a good impression wherever it goes. And with the price being just north of 15K, you might be ready to hop off the couch and into a Jag right now. But hold up. Let me finish. While you might imagine yourself smooth sailing down the coast in your very own Jag, driving one of these is actually the opposite of fun. And the main problem is that they are just too damn big. If you're looking for a sedan, you're probably gonna want something that you can duck and dodge through traffic. But driving an XJL feels like you have a permanent trailer attached to the back of your car. So there's a reason why rich people hire somebody to drive them around in these things. Because quite simply, driving one of these long cars sucks. 
but riding in the back is awesome. So while the world around you may envy your stylish ride, you're gonna be kicking yourself forever for buying it. And so we may or may not have saved the best for last. If you want everybody on the road, including your future girlfriend to know you're an alpha dog, even if you're still living out of your mom's basement, hey mom! The meatloaf! Then you need the Alfa Romeo Giulia. With all the hype in the US over foreign cars, an Alfa is exactly what you need to make people think that you're sitting on a massive pile of cash. The thing is, more often than not, people in the US have never heard of Alfa Romeo. And us Americans have a tendency to think that things that are exotic are expensive. However, you can get your hands on a nearly new Alfa Romeo Giulia for less than 20K. And with the sick styling of this bad boy, everyone's gonna think that you dropped somewhere in the neighborhood of 100K on your new wheels. Plus, don't get me started, but if you ever meet a girl named Julia, you can tell her you named your car after her. See where I'm going with this? And the Julia isn't just a wealth symbol. It's actually also a blast to drive. With its lightweight body and telepathic steering, you can't help but smile from ear to ear while you're driving down the highway or carving up some canyons. Unfortunately, problems with the electronic throttle are common in this model, and repairs on the Alpha aren't the cheapest. But overall, Julia's a good girl. And although she might let you down every once in a while, she might be a keeper. So out of all the cars on this list, which one do you think will make you look the richest? Let us know down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, also hit the like button. And if you dislike the video, hit the dislike button twice, really let us know. Also check out some of our other ideal content. We put out new videos every single day. And oh, as always, keep living the ideal lifestyle.